Here's something interesting. Think of an odd integer. Do you have one in mind? Now, it is guaranteed that the number you thought of is the difference between two squares, and here's why. So, side note, I didn't realize until after my master's in math that the difference of two squares literally means what's the difference between these two squares. So, all we are doing is just looking for this L shape. So, with whatever odd number you're thinking of, we can imagine that many dots in a line, and we can find the center dot and drag it so it's in the corner of this square. And when we fill this out, we can see that this L shape is the difference between this larger square and this smaller square. And we can show this algebraically as well. When we take the difference between two consecutive square numbers, we get 2n plus 1 where n is an integer. And this represents all odd integers. And here's a bonus. 2n plus 1 can be thought of as n plus 1 plus n. So the difference between two consecutive square numbers is just the sum of their bases. So with 7, well, what two consecutive numbers add up to 7? Well, 3 and 4. So 7 is 4 squared minus 3 squared. Let's do one more. With 25, what two consecutive numbers add up to 25? Well, 12 and 13. So 25 is 13 squared minus 12 squared. Pretty cool, right?